So it seems to me that there is actually an optimal way to handle your portfolio. I've talked a lot recently about exit strategy and taking profits. But a lot of the comments that I get on the videos are, well, if you know the true utility of the assets that you hold, then why would you ever sell? And I think there's that's a warranted comment. It's a, it's a, it's a good comment. And actually one that I embrace quite a bit. As I've said many times, I am never selling my XRP. And even though I am taking profits this bull run, none of the XRP is getting touched. So trust me, I understand the value of XRP, hence why I'm not selling a single token. So with that said, when we look at a, a portfolio that should be nicely balanced and you should take profits along the way, um, you know, we can focus on taking profits quite a lot, but we ignore the other side of that. What about the bag that's being held? What about the crypto that we're not selling? And typically, if you looked at this before in the traditional markets, you basically would have to just hold the cash. The cash wouldn't go anywhere. You just have to hold it and it wouldn't do anything for you except depreciate. Um, as you know, inflation increases over time and the value of your assets in the bank just held in cash are just going to de depreciate over time, have less bu purchase power over time. And that would have been the same for this, except it's not. There's one thing that we've really not overlooked because I've talked about it a lot. But since we've been focusing on taking profits, let's focus on the other side now as well. Because I think what's healthy in a, in a portfolio is that you have some profits that you've taken because you have to um, have, you have to enjoy your life, right? There's a, there's a really amazing quote that I, I got from someone, um, like a mentor of mine on, on, a, on a video call. And she said, um, if you don't take profits and you just keep on waiting and waiting and waiting, you're losing your quality of life so that you can have a quality of life. Like you're sacrificing in the short term so that you don't have to sacrifice. But what if you didn't have to sacrifice in the short term either? And the way you do that is obviously taking profits. So I think it's it's optimal for a portfolio for you to take profits and have some that you're holding on for that future utility. But we're in a unique situation here. And crypto and blockchain is providing us with such an incredible opportunity, not only to have volatility, and volatility means people will make money. People will obviously lose money too if you don't have a plan. Um, but we're now being presented with this other option. And the other option is the assets that we're not selling can do stuff for us as well. You know, when you look at taking profits in a portfolio, you're looking at redistributing those assets, whether you're, you know, taking it from crypto into cash or stablecoin, you're then going to move it into another asset. And those assets would usually be, you know, uh, interest yielding or, or a create passive income. You buy a property with it. You go into all these different investments to generate a yield so that you actually are using that money uh, well. In the traditional system, you would have to exit a market in order to do those things. But what we've been presented with here is the ability to not only purchase cash flowing assets with our profits and actually enjoy our life in the short term, but we're also looking at our uh, portfolio that we're keeping there, not moving, and now being presented with the idea of being able to delegate delegate those assets to work for us as well with the likes of an AMM, for example, for XRP on the XRPL. Oh. Providing liquidity to a market and getting a yield paid to you from that. There'll be other ways that we can do this as well. There'll be so many different ways. And it's hard to speak on these things now because we're we're kind of in our minds living in the future, but we're not there yet. The, the, the reality isn't there yet. And so I, I'm extremely optimistic about the future and what this what this looks like. If you look at yeah, you know, tokenization and the yields you'll be able to generate from just having tokenized real world assets around you. Um, you know, you want to get into real estate, maybe you don't have to buy a house anymore. Maybe you don't have to spend any crypto. Maybe you can delegate liquidity and that liquidity can feed into a continual investment type of thing. Um you know, you think Austin, Texas is going to be up and coming like it was, and it's going to keep going. You want to invest in Austin, Texas. Well, maybe I can use the yield generated from my AMM to continually invest in Austin. 
and I get a yield from that as well. So, you know, you're looking at delegating your assets that you're holding on to into an AMM, for example, you get a yield from the AMM and the yield from the AMM pays for more yield generating assets. It, it's, it's, a, it's a continual thing that can all happen purely because this is a new asset class in crypto and blockchain and a new technology being presented with this opportunity to compound our yields, even with assets that we're not selling. It's incredible. It's an cr incredible opportunity. And I think, you know, it's it's blind. It, I, I think it's short-sighted. In my opinion, of course, you can think whatever you want. You, can, you Everyone's their own person. It's I think it's blind, blind short-sighted. I keep saying blind. It's short-sighted to not take any profits. Um, because again, you're giving up a quality of life so that you can have a quality of life. doesn't make any sense. Um, and I think it's also silly to take all of your, pro like all 100% of your portfolio in profits. There needs to be a balance. That balance needs to be comfortable to you. Um, we go through this at length. Uh, I mean, just a, just a little uh, side note here. The exit strategy workshop that happened live happened yesterday and it was incredible. If you attended, please let me know in the comments and let everyone know what it was like. Um, it was it was the coolest thing I've done so far. Um, so valuable. I think everyone's found the value. They're all now getting on with the hard work of building this plan, um, you know, formulating how to how to hold on to some and how to sell some and where to sell them. It's really, really cool. Uh, I really urge you, you can watch it all on demand. You can you don't didn't have to be there for the live. It was nice. Um, but the link is in the description for that. Um, but, you know, having a balanced portfolio and a plan to go with it. Oh, my goodness. How the stress relief that you feel from that. <laughs> Just having specific numbers, specific rules, all in accordance to the way you feel and believe and the things you believe, um, you know. And then and then with the prospect, if, you know, being able to find out exactly how close you are to your desired lifestyle. And then being able to say, and also the assets that I'm not selling will do stuff for me. So the plan is brilliant. Um, I really think people should be paying attention to both sides of this. Creating a plan to exit, but also understanding what their assets that they're holding on to can do for them as well. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this one here. I appreciate you for, for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit like and subscribe before you leave the video. Stay emotionless. I'll see you in the next one.